Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will be talking about the dot product which is a topic for uh, vectors and dot product basically is a product of two vectors uh, and I will be trying to go uh, tell you what dot product is, what is the definition of dot product, what is the physical significance of dot products and then I will be solving few basic examples. Uh, dot product is then will be followed by cross product which is also very important uh, and then we will do the same for cross product and then we will take some examples in the next videos. So just for this video we will focus on dot product. So dot product is given by convention of A dot B where dot is the product means the product of two vectors and if I were to write A as AXI cap plus AYJ cap plus AZK cap and when I dot it with BXI cap plus BYJ cap plus BZK cap then what dot product does is that it gives you a scalar. So dot product gives you a scalar and that scalar is given by value AXBX plus AYBY plus AZBZ that is what the dot product gives you uh, and for instance if you have vectors for instance A vector is I plus J plus K and B vector is I minus 2J plus K then A vector dot B vector is equal to 1 into 1 minus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 1. So what does this mean is that I multiplied these two AX PX then I have added with 1 into minus 2 plus 1 into 1 and this is equal to 0. So it gives you a scalar. So this is that is why it, it is also known as a scalar product because when you input two vectors on a dot product it gives you a scalar. It is very important for you to understand that this is a scalar product because if you have been asked to find a vector out of some combination of vectors then A dot B will not never give you a vector it will always give you a scalar. Uh, and the way if you have been given two vectors it is x component y component and j component then all you all you can the way you can find a dot b is just do this. Another definition another definition of a dot b is that it is equal to mod a mod b cos theta where theta is the angle theta is the angle whenever two tails or whenever so if this is the head this is the tail whenever this point is joining the two uh, vectors so I, I am calling this as the tail tails are joined and the angle between the vectors uh, is theta then a dot b is also given as mod a mod b cos theta uh, and for instance if I have vector a here like this and I have b vector like this then theta would be whenever you extend this basically move this as I said three vectors can be moved then this would be theta. So if you are uh, unfamiliar with three ve uh, free vectors then you should definitely check out uh, my first video in which I talk about free vectors ok. So theta has a restriction that it has to be between 0 to 180 ok. So what does this imply? It This implies that there are some properties so a dot b is mod a mod b cos theta this and this implies that whenever a dot b is 0 either mod a is 0 mod b is 0 or angles or vectors are perpendicular. vectors are perpendicular and this is important because a dot b equal to 0 is many times used as a condition for perpendicularity obviously one of the vectors should not be a 0 vector which is very uh, which is generally not the case. So a dot b equal to 0 is very very highly used as a condition for perpendicularity whenever you hear a dot b is 0 flash it should come as a flash that means the vectors are perpendicular ok it should be as quick as that whenever vectors are whenever a dot b is 0 dot product is 0 vectors are perpendicular ok and a dot a 
a dot a would be mod a mod b and mod b is also mod a and because the angle between a vector and itself is will be 0 then this would be nothing but mod a square okay this would be mod a square lastly one property which is important for you to understand is that a dot b is equal to b dot a okay a dot b is equal to b dot a and this makes sense because a x if I re replace this from to this side then it will become b x a x plus b y a y plus b z a z and that is the same as a dot b okay. Also a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus b dot c sorry a dot a plus a dot b plus a dot c and I hope this is also obvious because if you have a dot a x plus a y plus a z and here you have b x plus c x plus b y plus c y plus b z plus c z then you can separate it out and write it at a dot b plus a dot c okay. So, I hope this is also clear and this is also useful. So, we have uh, written down some properties of a dot b here and it is important for you to remember these uh, properties. Now, let us look at another uh, uh, another thing about physical significance of dot product physical significance so the physical significance is defined through a vector a here and let us say you have a vector b here with angle theta and they have a ta their tails are common and if you have to if let us say this this basically this length is let us say this is a triangle o a and you drop some a perpendicular here and let us call this point as d let me if you are getting confused let me write this vector as b vector. So, in triangle o a d in triangle o a d mod of O d is equal to mod of O a cos theta. I am just writing trigonometric relation right O, o d is equal to mod O a cos theta and I am just writing mod of O a is equal to vector a mod cos theta or this is nothing but vector a dot vector b by mod of vector b because this is mod a mod b cos theta by vector b uh, sorry this was o d vector mod and this is nothing but a vector dot b cap ok. So, what it means is that what does dot product means is that a dot b cap means projection of vector a with direction b with direction b cap ok. Why, why do I say with direction b cap because I hope you can recall very clearly from the first video of this chapter that b cap or unit vector is just the direction unit vector is synonymous to direction. So, if you have a direction if you have a vector b you can find b cap by mod of b by mod of b and if you dot with a then a dot b cap means projection of vector a with direction b and what does projection mean is that you drop a perpendicular on the vector b and you then you find what is this value ok. And if you want if so and this is equal to nothing but o d vector mod. So, this is known as projection of vector a with, uh, with direction b and o d vector is nothing but mod of o d into b cap because a vector has a magnitude into direction direction is b cap which is nothing but a dot b cap cross into b cap and this is called as the projection vector of a with direction b cap. This is called as projection vector of a with direction b cap. Okay. 
So there are two things that I have defined here. First, that whenever you see a vector dotted with a direction, that means it is a projection. Projection means just a scalar. And that scalar means that it is the length of the perpendicular drawn from point A to the direction in the direction of vector B. That is that is the physical meaning of projection. So if you take a dot product of a vector A with a direction B cap, that physically means that it is it is the projection of a vector A with direction B cap. That is when you drop a perpendicular from A to the vector B, then this length OD is basically the projection. And that is what you get if you take a dot of A with B cap. How? That is what we derived here. That mod OD, mod OD is nothing but OA cos theta. And if you if you rearrange this mod right mod OA as a vector, and then a dot b is a, a b cos theta, and you would divide by b, then this becomes mod a cos theta, which is nothing but a dot b cap. Okay, uh, sorry, I meant here as a dot b. Okay, which is nothing but a dot b cap. Okay, and now then we define that a dot b cap. Is the projection of vector a, and if I want to find OD vector, which is the projection vector, then I just multiply projection with B cap, which is the direction, uh, which is the direction of vector B. So there are few things which we learned here. If we take a dot product, then it physically means that you are taking a projection of vector a with direction B cap, and then the projection vector can be found by multiplying that with just B cap. Okay, so we can try to do some examples on this. So I want to do two examples. Based on our understanding of dot product, uh, which hopefully would help you understand where we can apply dot products. So, the first example is find the angles. Find the angle between. I cap plus J cap plus K cap, and I cap plus 2J cap minus 3K cap. Okay. So whenever you hear an angle between two vectors, you should flash dot product, flash dot product. And why? Because you should be able to understand that A dot B is very easily able. Very, you can very easily calculate using this formula. And then you can calculate mod a and mod b, and then you can calculate cos theta. Okay, so whenever you hear angle between two vectors flash dot product, that it is a question of dot product. So let us try to find the answer for this. So a dot b, a dot b is i cap plus j cap plus k cap. Dotted with i cap plus 2j cap minus 3k cap, and that is equal to zero. Okay, because one plus I am adding one into one plus one into two, three minus three, and this is equal to mod a mod b cos theta. And because mod a and mod b are not zero, cos theta has to be zero, and that means theta is equal to 90 degrees. Or the vectors are perpendicular, and this was just a property that we had learned here. Whenever you see a dot b is equal to zero, flash. It's perpendicular vectors. Okay, so this should be on fingertips. That whenever you see two vectors and you are trying to find an angle, dot product, and you, the dot product is the way to go. Okay, example two. Find the projection of vector projection of vector three i plus two j plus five k five k along the vector. Two i plus two j plus k. Okay. Now, 
how will we find the answer for this second problem here vector a is because a vector is the vector for which you want to find the projection that is 3i plus 2j plus k 5k cap and b vector is the vector on which you are finding the projection however the quantity which is important for us is b cap so i'll just directly write what b cap would be 2i plus 2j cap plus 3 plus k cap divided by the magnitude divided by the magnitude and that will be 2 square plus 2 square plus 1 square root 2 plus 2 4 plus 4 plus 1 square root is 9 square root and that is 3 right and projection projection p is a dot b cap and that is nothing but if you dot this two things 3 into 2 is 6 plus 2 into 2 is 10 plus 5 is 15 by 3 is 5 so a dot b cap is 5 and that is projection and the projection vector p vector is a dot b cap into b cap which is nothing but 5 into 2i plus 2j plus k by 3 ok. So, whenever you need to find projection you will use dot with the direction of the vector on which you find want to find the projection and then you can find the projection and the projection vector using the formulas you have discussed ok. So, I hope you were able to understand what is dot product whenever you see angle you will have to find dot product and then take using this formula you can find the angle you are able to understand the properties of dot product that mod a, mod a dot b is mod a mod b cos theta whenever a dot b is 0 it is the vectors are perpendicular a dot a is mod a square we will use uh, this property in some of the examples which will come in a few next few videos that a dot b is equal to b dot a and that a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus a dot c so i hope that this is a good introduction for dot products uh, also remember that dot product is a scalar product and because next up will be cross product which is a vector product. So, I hope that you were able to understand uh, this video and this was useful for you uh, in the next video we will be talking about vector products. So, I hope you enjoyed this video thank you and see you next time.